Hi everyone, so uh, this this video um, is a continuation of the last video. I got through um, working on this worksheet, uh, started finding the volume of this uh, cylinder here. Now I just wanted to show you guys how to find the surface area because I didn't really have enough time in the video to do that. So I'm going to do that real quick. So we already found the volume. So now I'm going to try and find the surface area. So for surface area, um, I think the important thing is first off, if we have surface area I said was connected to basically circumference and area. So we need to know the circumference of the circle. And we also need to know the area. of the circle. So let's let's take a look at this. The circumference is the distance all the way around. And the area is uh basically how much is filled in here. So we need to know both to find the surface area, the total surface area. So real quick um, if we were to take this and like kind of unravel it, make it a net, what you typically get is something like this. You get a rectangle with a little circle here and a circle here. So kind of picture how you like take a can, you pop open the top, pop open the bottom and unravel it. You'll get something like this. So basically we have two circles. And we have this rectangle. So we already found on the video the, the last time, we found the area of this, um, of this uh, circle here. Um, so for that, basically, we, we already found that area. And that area, I think, was uh, 50.24. So we got this is 50.24, 50 50 and we also know that this right here is 50.24. So what I want to show you guys now is how to find the area of this piece. That's all we have left. We already found this, and we found this. So just to get like a running tally here, our surface area will end up being in the end. It'll be 50.24 uh, plus 50.24. And now we just got to get this section over here. So I want to focus on just uh, just the circumference. First off, so circumference will be related to this piece here. So basically, this length all the way across is the same as go opening this up all the way around. So again, this is kind of like our surface, our circumference here. This is our circumference. This is our circumference, the distance all the way across. So we want to find that circumference, and then all we do we got to do is multiply it by this dimension, which is the height. So 10, that's the height. This is the height on the net, this distance from here to here. So really we just got to find the circumference, multiply it by 10. So our circumference is equal to 2 pi r 2 times 3.14 times our radius, which is 4. So 2 times... 3.14 times 4, that gives you 25.12. So our circumference was 25.12. And now to get this little piece of area, basically this, this section here, we've got to multiply by the height. 
and our height was 10. So let's just multiply this thing by 10. So times 10. And then we'll get um, this area. I'm just going to call it area sub 3. You can really call it anything. Basically, it's the area of this thing. Uh, will be 250. 251. Um, okay, so we got our two surfaces here. Now we got to add up plus 251. So 50.24 plus 251.2, I guess plus another 50.24. So should be about 350, but let's just get the exact answer. So let's see. Um, so this, well, let's get that. Okay, so 251.2 plus 50.24 plus 50.24 equals 351 point, let's just call it 351.7. So I think the watermark will cover that. So 351.7, and just remember that. For surface area, you're gonna be in units squared. I think in the last one I just said, let's just say this was inches. They didn't put it on here, but just so you, just so you guys remember when it does happen, if these were both in inches, this would be in inches squared for surface area. You don't have to put it on this problem because they didn't give you any units, but um, that's how you do it normally. So real quick, this is equal to our surface area. So that's all you need to put for this problem. So you can write down this for your surface area.